What's up everybody? My name is Larry Snow and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to 5x even 10x your MailChimp email list growth by adding in a pop-up email form on your WordPress website. Stick around, it's coming up next. So what I'm going to do for you in this video is I'm going to be showing you exactly how the process works from the beginning to the end. And I'll even show you a completed version of a mock-up of what I call the Coffee Couture Club. Sounds like fun? All right, let's dig in. So we're logged into MailChimp and we're going to go over to Campaigns. We're going to click on Create Campaign. Now. You're not gonna see it right off the bat, and I wish MailChimp would do a better job of this, of actually listing out all the wonderful things that the campaigns, uh, all the things that they've added into campaigns, the ability to do different things, uh, such as search ads, automation, automations, and campaigns. But if you type in pop-up, and you'll get what we need. So there are a couple of options here, uh, since I only typed in pop, but there's a thank you, pop-up form. So you can thank subscribers for joining. Uh, you can do a collect subscribers with a pop-up form, which is what we're going to do. So we click on that, we select our list, and we click begin. So as you can see here, I've already created a pop-up modal. And we're, as I said, we're going to have the Coffee Couture Club, a little fictional thing I've created. Maybe there is a real one, I'm not sure. But the premise of my pop-up is that You've landed on my landing page where I'm selling you to join my membership for the Coffee Couture Club membership at $97. If you leave that page, you'll be offered this pop-up which says, hey, I, if you're not interested in joining the club for $97, bucks, how about joining our mailing list? And by the way, we'll send you a $5 gift card to Starbucks. Now, this is all fictional. But it is something that I think uh, gives you a, a working demo, a working idea of how this could actually work. Okay, so let's get started over on the design side. You can do different types of pop-ups. So one is called a modal, which is the one that actually pops up. And there's one on the side. So it comes in like that. And then there's one that's fixed. So it's fixed all the way down the bottom in a nice little, uh, no image, just a, a nice little uh, centered, uh, text type of thing. So I like the modal the best. And as I said, we're going to have it on exit. And there are other options here. You can do it immediately, five seconds, 20 seconds, scroll to the middle of the page, scroll to the bottom of the page. All very nice features. And we can do image alignment. I've done top. And you can do button styles. I've kept it all kind of coffee-like, you know, black and brown, that type of thing. And you can do an overlay capacity, which means you'll still see content underneath. So that's set at 65% as default. Okay, and then we go over to the fields. Now I've in my sign up form fields. So that's under your list settings. Uh, I have email as required, first name, last name, and other interests, which is a group which is uh, for people to sign up for blog posts. Uh, I'm just selecting first name, and I thought you could drag that up above email, but you can't. But you could probably drag it up below last name. If I select last name, I could drag first name to last or last name to first. There you go. That's how you do it. And we'll just report that. So you can't go above email list, which I thought would be kind of nice to have first name, then email, but they want your email. So that's fields. Then we go to content. So this is where I put in the image. Uh, I can uh, replace it. So all I did was I went into Giphy and I clicked uh, search for coffee cup and I clicked on that one and I clicked in insert. And there we go. And then I added in my text, very simple, just like if you were gonna do a regular campaign, a regular uh, email type of thing, just added in that stuff. Um, and then I just put in a footer. You could put in anything you want. I just put in, we don't spam you ever. Now, for the success message that comes up on your screen, uh, there are different ways of doing it. Uh, just like it was for the landing page success, the confirmation, 
uh, I just said, you know, thank you for subscribing to the Coffee Couture Club, uh, and you will receive the gift certificate in your inbox. Now, all of that, if you're going to do that, then that has to be pre-formatted through your either your segmentation or through your list. Uh, when you do a thank you page for a person who signs up, they get uh, that gift certificate. So be aware of that. I'm not going to cover that in this uh, video. So um, basically like that, or you could do a link to a video, link to a coupon, link to a PDF, however you want to do it. Uh, that is your confirmation or success message. Okay. When you're ready, you have everything set the way you want it. You're going to click publish. Okay, once we publish, we're going to click on View Code. This is the code that's going to go on our WordPress website. Now, you can put this in any website. It doesn't have to be WordPress. But since we're since my majority of what I do is in WordPress, that's what we're going to be putting it in. So we just copy it, go over to our page. Now, this is my uh, mock-up Coffee Couture Club landing page. This is where the offer is to... Um, be a part of a membership where it's $97. And if you don't want to be part of it, then that's when you get that exit pop up. So we're going to click on text and I've already put it in here <clears throat> and I'll just put it in again like that. And then that's all you have to do. So you can put that in a post or a page. Primarily, you're going to be putting it in a page, maybe on the home page, that type of thing. You can just put it right inside the content. Uh, based on all the JavaScript that's in there and the code and everything, it knows what it's supposed to do, when it's supposed to do it, so, and where it's supposed to do it. So we just click on Visual again. So you're going to have a couple of little doodads in there, a couple of little uh, boxes of JavaScript in there. And then when you're done, just click on Update, or you can even preview if you want first. And since I've already been testing this out, I know what it's going to do. So once you have your landing page or whatever opt-in or maybe whatever page you want people to opt into your mailing list on, you click on uh, View Page just to check it out. So we're going to click on Open an Incognito Window because I have previously clicked X when I was logged in. Once you click the X, you won't ever see that pop-up come again. So that's an important point to know. So I'm going to click on Incognito Window. And I'm going to be scrolling around, scrolling around, scrolling around. And when I exit, just like that, as soon as I went up to the URL, my little pop-up came on. And once I in all of my information, I'm going to get that thank you page that maybe you have set up. I haven't set it up yet, but maybe you'll set it up that you'll, you'll get that $5 gift certificate. So thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and you'll be notified when a new video goes up on the channel. For more about me, go to larrysnow.me, and I'll see you in the next video.